Jungle Scout versus AMZ Scout. Which one is better? In this video, I'll go in depth, do a proper full review of each one and give you my verdict as to which one is worth the money and which one you should pursue. So before we get started, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting the bell notification so that you know when I bring out new videos. And if you can, leave a comment down below which one you prefer. First things first, this video is regarding the Chrome extension only. I'm not gonna be talking about the web app or any of the other features that AMZ Scout or Jungle Scout offer. This is just the, the Chrome extension for when you're searching on Amazon. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go over the pros, um, go over the, the differences between the Jungle Scout Pro and the Jungle Scout Lite, and the AMZ Scout Lite and the AMZ Scout Pro. And I don't know this off by heart, um, because who does? So I've got it on my computer here, and I'm gonna go over it for you now. So we have the AMZ Scout here, we've got the Basic and we've got the Pro. I'm not going to go over the prices now, I'm just going to go over what they offer compared to each other. So the Basic, you have the monthly sales and revenue, you have the profit calculator, you have trends, the, pri the, pri the price and rank history, the nine marketplaces supported, so it works between Amazon UK, US, all of Europe, um, what is it, Japan, all different places, India. Um, 15 additional metrics, doesn't say what they are, but 15 additional metrics, woohoo. Um, and then in the Pro, you also get the amount of stock, you get the favorite products, you get the bestseller rank, you get the, um, the search at Alibaba, so you can click it and immediately go to Alibaba to search, and the ROI, so return on investment calculation. Now just to go back a few, the um, bestseller mark, I believe you get that on, on all of them, however with, with the Pro, you're able to click into it and actually see the history. Okay, so now let's go over to Jungle Scout. Jungle Scout, the Pro and Light. Now I know it's a price there, don't look. Um, we have the Pro and we have the Light. So in the Light, you get the monthly sales and revenue, very similar. You get the industry leading accuracy, so that's not really a thing. Um, it's just those things to spice it up and add perceived value. You get the rating and review tracking, so that's pretty good. That's the best seller ranking and the reviews of the products. The category and the seller ranking, so that I don't know what the previous rating is. Ongoing support and updates, again, that's one of those other things we just don't care about. And then in the Pro, you get the web app advanced integration. So just using the web thing, using it on the um, Jungle Scout website rather than using it as a Chrome extension. The sales item profit calculator, the dimension and weight of items, the FBA fee estimator, and the opportunity score. So, which one is better? Well, we're going to be using both of them now in practice, and I'm actually gonna go through them like in detail, which one I think is better, which one offers more, um, more features, which one um, is easier to use, and which one is worth the money. Now, before I dive into the main differences on my computer and actually show you what they are, I've written down a list of pros um, for each one and some cons. So I'm going to just quickly go through that now for you and then I'm going to go over to the computer and actually show you the differences. So with, um, with AMZ Scout, as well as getting the Chrome extension with your purchase, you also get this web search which is really, really cool. You, um, well, this is a big one. It shows fees which are much more realistic. So Jungle Scout seems to inflate the numbers um, and they may deny this. But I personally have seen this and you can see the, the big discrepancy between numbers of AMZ Scout and, and Jungle Scout. And it looks like Jungle Scout do increase the revenues and the sales per month um, numbers just slightly. So that's very important because if you're looking for a product and you think, oh, that looks amazing. Well, actually, if those numbers are inflated, then it doesn't really look as good. Um, Jungle Scout does look nice, so that's a huge pro for Jungle Scout. Jungle Scout is cheaper, so that's another big pro. Um, but then back to AMZ Scout, you've got rank history, you've got sales history, you've got price history, um, you've got more in the free um, version. Um, when I say free version, well, there is no free version for Jungle Scout. So with AMZ Scout, you're able to get 25 searches for free on the Pro and the Lite. So that's actually really cool because if you're just trying to find a quick product, you don't want to spend any money, you can do that with the, just the free version of AMZ Scout. And um, you'll also get that with the Pro. So the free search in the Pro is very, very cool. Just to quickly add, the rank history and the price history is also on Jungle Scout. So that's not just for AMZ Scout. So let's go into the computer and I'm gonna do this based on wallets because 
That's what I do. I do wallets. I always use wallets as my example. So um, I'm going to look at the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, the AMZ Scout Chrome extension, and the AMZ Scout Pro Chrome extension. I don't have the Jungle Scout Pro. Um, I never have. I thought it was a waste of money. Um, but I'm now going to go over both of them for you. So, let's quickly go into this. So you've got Jungle Scout, which looks like this. You've got the AMZ Scout Pro, which looks like this. And the AMZ Scout 3, which looks like this. The main difference is, is you can see the AMZ Scout 3 takes up the whole thing. So when you click the extension over here, it takes up the whole screen. You can't really see the products anymore. However, with both the... Jungle Scout Lite version, you can still see everything and scroll down. And with the AMZ Scout Pro version, you can also see everything and scroll down. It's more of a, a thing you can move around. Now, one major main difference which I've noticed um, doing this research is that um, AMZ Scout takes longer to um, give you the results, which is annoying because if you're searching for lots of products, it can take a long time. But you can see here, buy now, 24 free ones left, and this is the pro, and then also buy now, 21 free ones left. Now technically, you could do this, and I don't recommend it because it's wrong, and it's, it's not really stealing, but it's not nice. Um, but technically, you can sign into AMZ Scout with a different email once you've used up your 25 and get another 25, and just keep doing that until you've found a potential product and can actually afford to pay for this program. Now. This is just me telling you what you can do. I, have, I, I um, absolutely do not recommend doing this. I think it's wrong. These people have put a lot of time and effort into this program. They deserve to be paid for their time and effort. Um, so I don't recommend doing this. I recommend actually buying it um, because that's what, that's what they deserve. So let's quickly go into it. So you can see obvious differences. Firstly, what it looks like, I'm going to compare the... the the, light, the basic version of AMZ Scout and the light version of Jungle Scout just because that will be a fair comparison and then I'll go into the pro version of, of AMZ Scout. So to start with, this is what the screen looks like compared to this one. So you've got four tabs at the top here, the average monthly sales, the average sales rank, the average price and the average reviews. Whereas on this one you've got the number of results, the average monthly revenue, the average sales, average price and average reviews. So the extra thing is just the number of results, not the biggest deal. Then as you go down you can see each individual information. So you can see the price, the minimum price, the FBA fees, um, the margin impact, uh, the listing quality score, which is super cool. You can see the categories in, the sellers, um, rank, estimated sales, estimated revenue, number of reviews, available from, rating, weights, and the seller, so FBA. And in this one, you can see the product name, the brand, the price, the category, the rank, the sales, the revenue, the reviews, the rating, and the seller. So you can actually see quite a bit more here. And not only that, in Jungle Scout, you can click on things. Like, you can click on the, the sales rank, and you can see the sales rank history. Right? You can also click on the price, and you can see the price history. These are so cool to actually go into a product and see this information. But unfortunately, that's all you can click on. In AMZ Scout, you can click on the rank, just like Jungle Scout. You can click on the price, just like Jungle Scout. And one extra thing you can click on, which I think is so cool, is the FBA fees. So you can click on the FBA fees and you can see the monthly storage fee, the pick and pack fee, the referral fee, the estimated monthly sales, the total FBA fees, the profit per unit, and the estimated monthly profit. And now, one thing which is even cooler, which you can consider, is if you go to Alibaba and actually search for this product, so wallet, you can see how much the product costs, you can put that in there, so you can put it in two pounds, and then all of this will get updated, and the, um, the estimated monthly profit will change accordingly. So I personally think that is so cool, like it's so, so cool, and that is a huge benefit for me over Jungle Scout. And remember, this is still the um, light version, it's still the basic version, um, and it has that feature, which I think is just amazing. So that's one huge benefit. The next thing you can have a look at is you can see, um, let's have a look at the estimated sales of the number one, okay? The number one, RFID blocking, RFID blocking, right? You can see the price 795, rank five, uh, rank five. But look at this, estimated sales 534 in AMG Scout, estimated sales is 1,294 in Jungle Scout. So I do not know 
what is going on here? How could there be such a huge difference with the Jungle Scout numbers and the AMC Scout numbers? And which ones do you trust? Again, with the revenue, the revenue here is 10,000 in Jungle Scout and it's 4,000 in, in AMZ Scout. So this is a huge difference, right? And, and there can't be that much of a difference. And this just proves that this is an estimate, right? This is an estimate of what they think. And to be honest, I personally think Jungle Scout inflate their numbers. Now, they may say they don't, um, but based on this, either AMZ Scout is seriously def deflating their numbers, um, or Jungle Scout is seriously inflating, but one of them is just doing one of them. And I'm obviously going to go for the one that has lower numbers, just because that protects myself in the long run, right? I'm covering all, all um, areas. So, that's, that, that, that's the main difference, the, the FBA fees, that's the main difference between the two basic versions of Jungle Scout and, and, AMZ, um, and AMZ Scout. Now, one thing I have to side in Jungle Scout's favour is the look and the feel. It's, it looks much, much nicer. It's, it's much easier to use, everything's there, nice looking big, it just looks nicer, it's got an easier feel to it. Whereas AMZ Scout, it looks like a mess, if that makes sense. There's, a lot of stuff going on, there's lots of numbers everywhere, it's small, it's compact, it's just not very nice. Um, now again, that's just me being pedantic, it's really not important. Um, and don't let that be a deciding factor for you. Now, both of the two tools have optional extras. So for example, with the um, Chrome extension of the Jungle Scout, you can also go and pay for the um, the web search tool, if that makes sense. So this is what allows you to actually research products and find products um, like product ideas, not just see if products are potential winners, but actually to build a list of ideas. And AMZ have the exact same thing, it's called product database, it's called product database on both of them. Um, it has the exact same thing, and again, you can sign in with whatever, Facebook, Google, um, and you can search, right? So add filter and you get a certain amount of searches. It doesn't say how many searches you get, but you get a certain amount of searches. And this is basically what it looks like. But again, I said I wasn't gonna go into these details. I just wanted to make you aware that there are optional extras for both of these programs. Now, the main thing I'm going to look at is AMZ Scout Pro. Because AMZ Scout, you get 25 free searches regardless of the Pro or the free version, I would always recommend going for the Pro because you could definitely find a product within 25 searches. Just don't go crazy with it. Only search a product that you think is going to be good. So after using the product database and finding a list of 25 potential products, then go and search them. Don't just be like, hmm, I wonder if um, this light bulb will be good and search for it, because that'll be such a waste of a search for you. But let's have a look at the Pro, because the Pro shows so much more information. It's really cool. We have, the price, again, it's the same. Um, the FBA fees, we have the net margin, which is very, very cool. We have, um, we have the BSR, which you can actually click on and see how it's changed over time. So rank was 25, then it went up to 37, then it went down to four. So you can really see the, 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 the information of this product. You've got the estimated revenue, which you always had. Um, you had the EBC, which I'm not gonna pretend I know what that stands for, let's just hover over that. Enhanced brand content listing. I don't know, it, it's ironic that it's right next to something called BS, because it sounds BS. Um, <laughs> um, you've got the weight and you've got all of that stuff. Now, you can hover over things and actually get more information on them. So let's have a look at what you can hover over. Um, that might, ah, here we go. Listing quality, um, score, right? I think that's what LQ, LQS stands for. You can hover over that and you can see the the name length, the brand, the bullets. I don't want that to go. You can see the rating, the number of reviews, the sellers in FBA, description length, image count. So you can see whether or not what, what, what they are doing right and what they are doing wrong. And this is very important because if you look for a product and you see that there are tons that have um, amazing listing quality scores, you probably don't want to compete with them because they're really, really good already. So that's huge, and I don't think I saw that in Jungle Scout. No, I, I didn't see that in Jungle Scout. That might be in the pro version of Jungle Scout, um, just like we're in the pro version of AMZ Scout, but I didn't see that in Jungle Scout. And 
saying that, you get that same information in the free version of AMZ Scout as well. well. Not the free version, but the basic version, so the cheaper version. You can see if I hover over um, one of the numbers under listing quality score, you get all the same information. So in terms of basic um, um, AMZ Scout versus the Light Jungle Scout extension, I'm going to tell you the prices and then I'm going to give you my verdict of which one I think is better, um, which one um, I think I'm going to continue to use in the future, and which one I think you guys should be using. So the prices, well this is where it's interesting because the price for, and I've written this down, the price for um, AMD Scout is £199 for the basic version, this is a one-off cost, or £259 for the pro version, one-off cost. That's crazy expensive, that is crazy, crazy expensive considering Jungle Scout is $97 for the, the, the basic and $197 for the pro. So, and, and that's dollars and we're talking pounds for AMD Scout, so we're, we're talking a good £100, maybe even £150 more right? That's mad. That's a lot of extra money. And is that worth it? Well, what I'll say is, and this is my verdict, my verdict is AMG Scout is better. Okay. I personally think, I personally think AMG Scout is much better as a program. Um, but because of the price, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to go for it. So this is what I would recommend. I would recommend using AMZ Scout 25 free searches, okay? Once you've used those, 20, if you've used up those 25 free searches and now you actually need the extension, then head over to Jungle Scout and buy the basic version of Jungle Scout. If you want to fork out the extra money and stick with AMZ Scout, then by all means do that. I do actually think it's a better program and it offers you more information, um, but because of the price, I'm gonna have to side with Jungle Scout because it's so much cheaper and you don't really need so much information. I mean, the information you're getting on Jungle Scout is good enough. Now, I want to just do a quick disclaimer here because these programs are not going to find you winning products, okay? They're going to give you information on those products and they're going to tell you whether or not they're successful. Just because a product on AMC Scout or Jungle Scout looks good does not mean it's going to be successful. You have to use your own intuition, you have to um, um, like the numbers will have to be changed depending on if it has good reviews but bad demand or good demand or bad reviews. Everything will have to be um, personal preferences as well. Um, and actually finding product ideas, like coming up with ideas like pens, wallets, light bulbs, mics, whatever. Right? I've just realized that that mic is not recording anymore. Um, but coming up with ideas is going to be um, something that you have to do yourself and then you use these programs as an extra tool just to find products. So that's it for my in-depth video on AMZ Scout versus Jungle Scout. Let me know in the comments down below which one you think you're going to like more, which one you prefer and in the description I have links to both AMZ Scout and Jungle Scout. They are affiliate links so if you buy it I get a bit of money from that. It doesn't cost you anything extra but it just helps me out. Um, so yes, if you do want to buy it then I really appreciate it if you bought it through my links. And thank you very much for watching the video. I'll see you in tomorrow's, or well not tomorrow's, because I'm doing videos three times a week. I'll see you in Tuesday's video.